Shibuya Station, over a century old, is home to nine rail lines and 2.8 million passengers daily. Let's take a deeper look at the transformation of what is the heart of this entertainment and fashion district and what might be installed beyond 2020. Like Shinjuku to the north, Shibuya opened as a stop on the Shinagawa line back in March 1885 with the main purpose to facilitate the transport of goods around the Tokyo area. Back then, less than 50 people used the station each day, which was at ground level and located 400 metres to the south of its present location. It would be another 22 years before Shibuya saw an addition to the station, when in 1907 the Tamagawa electric tramway came to Shibuya. The line ran 9 kilometres from Shibuya to Futago Tamagawa, transporting gravel and people to and from the Tama River located in Tokyo southwest. The next addition came in 1911, when the Tokyo City Tram Company extended its Aoyama tram line to Shibuya, opening a direct link with central Tokyo, effectively making Shibuya a transfer station on the rapidly growing Tokyo train and tram network. With the rapid increase in economic development, population and road traffic in the area, it became necessary to elevate the now Yamanote line and relocate the station to its current location. So in 1920, the second Shibuya station would open with a red brick building, a large semicircle window and gabled roof sporting a four-storey clock tower. A new staircase under the elevated tracks would allow passengers to access the platforms and the new location provided for better transfer connections with other tram lines and buses in the area. Throughout the 1920s and 30s, Shibuya saw an explosion in major development starting off in 1923 with the extension of the Tokyo City's Aoyama Tramway underneath the Yamanote Line and into the west side of Shibuya Station's Hachiko Square. 1924 also saw Hachiko come to Shibuya. Hachiko would come to symbolise loyalty throughout Japan as he would wait to meet his master at Shibuya Station every day, even a full 10 years after his master's death. In 1934, a bronze statue of Hachiko was erected in the northwestern square and has become a meeting place and tourist attraction ever since. In 1927, the Tokyo Corporation would set up in Shibuya, starting with the Toyoko Line with its platforms located on the east side of the Yamanote Line and its tracks following the alignment of the Shibuya River. The Tokyo Corporation was headed by Keta Goto, an entrepreneur who grew the business into a major retail and transport empire. It would later acquire the Tamagawa Tramway and build and operate department stores on the east and west side of the station. With the start of the new decade, the face of Shibuya changed once again. A new third generation station building opened in 1930. It became necessary due to track quadruplication works and platform reconfiguration and alignment. The new building was a two-storey and had a distinct European style mansard roof. The second generation station building was replaced after less than 10 years of operation. As 1933 rolled in, the Odaku Corporation would open up the Inokashi Rail Line, with its platforms located on the west side of Shibuya Station. Shibuya would be a terminal station and the line would run 12.7 kilometers to Inokashira, located in Tokyo's west. The very next year in 1934 would see Kieto Goto open the seven-story Toyoko department store to the public. The store would include a theater and rooftop amusement park, as well as direct access to the Yamanote line on the east side and the Toyoko line via level two of the building. The department store was also built over the top of the Shibuya River which was unusual practice and to this day no one understands how the approval was granted. The mid to late 30s were spent extending the massive Ginza Line project to Shibuya Station. Due to Shibuya being in a valley, a viaduct was built from the east side to the west side extending over the Yamanote Line with its platforms located on the third floor of a purpose built department store called Tamadan. Services commenced in 1938 and stabling yard and servicing facilities were another 400 metres beyond, just past the Inokashira line platforms. After World War II had finished, resources and jobs were scarce and gangs had formed in the Shibuya area. In June 1946, tensions boiled over between rival gangs and deadly violence broke out resulting in 8 dead, including one police officer, 34 were injured and 28 were arrested in and around Shibuya Station. The deadly event would become known as the Shibuya Incident throughout Japan. For the remainder of the 1940s, development in Shibuya was stalled. 
Efforts were dedicated to the repair of infrastructure, and in 1948, it was decided to relocate rather than destroy the Mitsubishi Bank building, which stood by itself in Hachiko Square. It took two years to lift and slowly move the building on rollers up against the Tamadan building, opening up the square by 1950. As Shibuya continued to rebuild after the war, a gondola was added to the rooftop amusement park of the Tokyo department store in 1951. The sightseeing cable car was capable of holding up to 12 people and it was known as Habiri Go. It would transport people 75 metres between department store buildings, from the 7th floor rooftop on the east side, down to the 4th floor rooftop of the Tamadan building on the west. However, the gondola was short-lived, ceasing operation in 1953 when the shorter four-storey Tamadan building store would close for renovations. It would open again next year in 1954 as an 11-storey structure that still stands over Hachiko Square till this day. 1956 also saw the Tokyo Bunker Kaikan open, which was instantly recognisable in the valley due to its uniquely shaped dome roof. The Bunker Kaikan hosted movie theatres, specialty stores including a barber shop and a planetarium on its 8th floor. A pedestrian bridge was also installed running parallel with the Ginza line, over the now very busy Miji Dori Avenue and into the Tokyo East department store and station complex. The 1960s were a decade of planning, refresh works and closures, starting in 1965 with the distinct third generation station building. It would be demolished as part of refresh works that were scheduled to take place before and after the Tokyo 1964 Olympics. In the same year, the Tokyo Corporation opened the Toyoko Line platforms, which had a distinct wave-shaped roof design that spanned under the Roppongi Expressway and out the other side. 1969 was a year of closures, with the Tamadan station located on the second floor of the Tokyo West Department store closing permanently. The Aoyama tram line would follow, ceasing operation and its tracks and platforms were removed from Hachiko Square, making it a pedestrian paradise and meeting place, free of rail and motor traffic. The 1970s were dedicated to bringing new underground subway lines to Shibuya. The first of these would open in 1977 with the long-awaited Tokyo Shin Tamagawa line. The line would mostly follow the old Tamagawa tramway alignment, but it would be all underground till Futuko Tamagawa. The platforms were literally located under the scramble crossing and it would later be renamed in the year 2000 as the Denen Toshi line. A year later in 1978, the Tokyo Metro would open the Hanzomon line and it would provide direct connect services with the Shin Tamagawa line. The Hanzomon Metro line would run 16.8 kilometers through central Tokyo, around the Imperial Palace and out to the location where the Sky Tree is today. While the 1980s was a boom period for the Japanese economy, not much happened in and around Shibuya Station itself. It wasn't until after the economic bubble had burst that Shibuya saw the JR Saikyo line extended to Shibuya in 1996. The new platforms were constructed 350 metres south of the station, in the same spot where this first station opened back in 1885. The new line would share the old Yamanote freight line tracks with the JR Shonen Shinjuku line which opened for service in 2001. Both lines and the Yamanote line would become one of the most heavily used rail corridors in all of Tokyo during the early 2000s, running at over 250% of their capacity. They wouldn't receive relief until the Fukutoshin subway line would open in 2008 under Miji Dori Avenue. The new subway line would run parallel with some parts of the Saikyo, Shonen Shinjuku and Yamanote lines, reducing their utilisation to more tolerable levels. The Fukutoshin subway line would be Shibuya's third Tokyo metro line and would be the deepest metro line running in Tokyo at an average of 27 metres. Since 2010, Shibuya and the surrounding precinct have undergone a decade-long transformation, starting with the opening of the Shibuya Hikari S skyscraper in 2012. It would replace the Bunker Kaiken and house an innovative concept called the Urban Core. The Urban Core, which stands out as a cylindrical-like structure within Hikari Air, is designed to facilitate the vertical flow of commuters in and around Shibuya Station. At its heart, it's made up of a series of elevators and lifts which zigzag from underground to three storeys above. When considering all the station lines in a vertical arrangement, it's equivalent to traversing a six to seven storey building from the underground Hanzomon lines to the Yamanote line on level one and the Ginza line above that. Once Shibuya facelift is complete, there'll be up to eight urban cores in and around the Shibuya precinct. 
On the 15th of March, 2013, the Tokyo Corporation closed the Toyoko Line platforms and opened them again the next day, five stories under Mijidori Avenue, effectively connecting the Toyoko Line and Fukutoshin lines together, making them a straight through subway line service. The undergrounding operation would take 1,200 men about four hours to make the necessary track adjustments during the night, so passenger servers weren't interrupted for the next day's operation. The undergrounding of the Toyoko line would clear the way for the next major development above ground, called the Shibuya Stream Complex. It would open in September 2018 and would be instantly recognisable for miles around due to its chaotic facade. The 180 metre tall skyscraper would house the Japanese headquarters of Google, as well as retail space and a hotel. In November 2019, the long-awaited Shibuya Scramble skyscraper will open and will be the iconic centrepiece of the Shibuya redevelopment. Standing in at 230 metres tall, the Shibuya Scramble will feature an open-air observation deck with views of the Scramble crossing below and out to Mount Fuji 100 kilometres away. It will be directly connected to the station via its own urban core. In March 2020, the Ginza Line platforms will be moved out of the third floor of the landmark Tokyo West Department Store building, enabling it to be demolished later that same year. The platforms will be moved 130 metres closer to the Shibuya Hikari building, spanning over the busy Mijidori Avenue encased in a prominent wavy M-like structure at a reported cost of 29 billion yen or 263 million US dollars. The platforms will also become island platforms and increase in width from 7 metres to 12 metres. The M-like structure will be capped off with a pedestrian walkway allowing for people to walk from the east side of Shibuya Station to the west side with ease. The moving of the platforms will allow for better passenger transfer and connections and make way for the demolition of the Tokyo West Department Store building, ushering in the next wave of Shibuya Station redevelopment. 2020 will also see the Saikyo Line and Shonen Shinjuku Line platforms moved. Works have been underway since 2018 to relocate the platforms and move them 350 metres to the north. They will open to the public during spring of 2020 and better align with the Yamanote Line platforms which will make for easier transfers and better integration. The Yamanote Line platforms themselves will become island platforms, rather than the two separate platforms that they are today. From 2021 to 2027, many new building projects will come to reality, such as the Sekirigaoka condos, scheduled to be complete in late 2023 in the Southwest Station Precinct. Many of the developments are owned and operated by the Tokyo Land Corporation, a subsidiary of the Tokyo Corporation founded by Keta Goto 100 years earlier. Road reconfigurations will also see Hachiko Square grow 1.5 times in size, as the entire area is geared more towards pedestrians than vehicles. The Tokyo Landmarks plan will be fully realised by 2027, when the core of Shibuya Station is rebuilt itself. The entire facelift will have taken 15 years to complete, but promises to make Shibuya Station a commuting oasis in a class of its own when it comes to station facilities, line integration and ease of passenger use. The station redevelopment will ensure that this youth, culture and entertainment district is well prepared for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and beyond. In the 1920s, the second generation station building sits proud. And in 2019, a reincarnation of the second generation building lives on in the north of Japan as an information center. A tram pulls into what is known as Hachiko Square on a cold winter's day during the 1930s. 1934 gives birth to the Tokyo East Department Store, and in 2013, the same department store 79 years later enjoys its final days before demolition. In 1935, a photo was taken from the newly completed Tokyo East Department Store, looking towards Harajuku and the four tracks of the Yamanote Line. In the 1950s, we see Hachiko Square, with the third generation station building and the Tamadan Department Store to the rear. 1951 sees a cable car move from one department store to the other, looking over Hachiko Square and the Scramble Crossing. In 1953, Hachiko Square is a busy tram stop for the Aoyama Line. In 1954, the Tokyo West Department Store is completed to a height of 11 storeys and still stands over Hachiko Square to this day. In 1956, the Bunker Kaikan Theatre is open to the public, 
later to be replaced in 2013 by the Shibuya Hikari skyscraper. And finally, a look at Shibuya Station in 2019, and a peek into the future of how it will look in 2027. Ok guys, that was the ever-changing face and history of Shibuya Station. If you like this one, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button, and I'll see you at the next station.